Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing uh, the Lamplighter's League uh, blind playthrough. We're just directly joining called Epiphany, which is the Nicastro heist that I suggested uh, the last time. We're doing it uninfiltrated, so it's going to be a very, very tough mission. And we brought Eddie and Celestine uh, with us, whom I need to find... Uh, consensus uh, which of these uh, two fine heroes will be essentially the next one uh, to join us as a third hero and gets uh, all of the skill points so let's see how they are performing in the actual uh, playthrough and um, they are battling for the third contested spot in our group the informant called it the pump house well, first we got to get the extraction tools the good so we got a lot of everything really we have definitely a lot of out of combat abilities so the idea would be to make sure wow that was the first time that the game ever slowed down okay <clears throat> so the game um we want to make sure that we're using all of the out of combat abilities just to get through most of the enemies Apparently this is one of uh, the best guarded facilities there is. So I'm expecting nothing short of an absolute crazy defense. And we cannot use the ladder. Wonderful. The Castro herself should be here. And in the starting area itself, we already found three ether. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting mission. Okay, so as I was saying, we want to make sure that we Uh, kill all of the enemies out of combat. Slowly but surely moving in. Good. This will get their attention. All right. Time to Come on. Ah, I was so close. I wanted uh, to use Ingrid and just rush them down, but I hesitated for a moment. Unfortunate for me. One, two, three. Eddie moves up. And light him up. One, two, three, four. Wanna dance? Wow, why is the game slowing down? Good. Look. Should have done that beforehand. And how about we're doing you? And you a favor by giving you more AP. And then, just because we can, shred his armor and get two minus cooldowns. Fantastic.
Y'all see that? Another great shot. Fantastic. <clears throat> Good, we're doing all cold gamble. Quicker than shadow. You get plus one speed. And let's see what we're going to do with you guys. Um, sure, I've used uh, the <clears throat> wave ability a bit earlier. Torment awaits you. Good, he's highly stressed now. <coughs> what are we going to do with our last action? You know what? We're just going to stand here and evade so that a potential shot would miss. Normal hit. Into stick and move. Which should be a kill. I like our odds a bit better now. Cool. Simple move. Bull rushing. And knocking this guy right into the pillar. Down, boy. There we go. To me, that looked like an awesome turn. Let A bit more gambit. Uh, this time we got stress. I think the stress chance for stress is higher than the chance of actually getting something. Your weakness is obvious. Defense minus 40%. I like that. We really need a ranged ability on her. Eddie moves up. Takes a bit of health damage, but nothing serious. Buffalo Bill, eat your heart out. Nice. Wow, so much damage. Celestine. No, before we we're doing anything. Um, no, you know, actually now is a good time. 35% new. I wanted to hit the guy on the ground here. One down. You have to go and make things unpleasant. That's another hit, and that's a kill then. I wanted to reset cooldowns, but there's no need for that. <clears throat> We're already done with the fight. Let's move. Okay, first engagement might be a blessing in disguise that we haven't really used all of our abilities because that was an easy fight. And besides me, yet again, failing to understand that uh, Eddie cannot always move the full round. I think uh, the rest was okay. So we got adrenaline. Uh, Eddie can drop the smoke bomb. I'm not using those a whole lot. Ordnance ain't pretty, but it sure as hell works. Another frag grenade. I like frag grenades, so let's drop the stress remedy there. I think we're okay for now. Oh, 
All right. Good. Another ether. Fantastic. Can't Eddie just open that? No, apparently not. We need another key. Obtain the deep, uh, the deep slayer's mask. That is what our optional objective is. Might be in there. Who knows? Hasten flask, not bad. Have a lot of stuff lying around that we could use a little bit later. On the move. There, a ship. The nectar extraction tools should be within. If we do have options to climb up, that would be great. Stolen secrets topple governments quicker than bullets and bombs. Very good. You break easily. Good. These two clowns are gone. Now, with the other ones, we can't really kill them with a finisher. So we need to get ready in order to actually fight this. Let's see. He's immune to takedown, right? Never mind. <clears throat> I think he was immune to the takedown. There's a Castro again. Where is Nicastro? We got two snipers up here. That's a bit uncomfortable. Should have seen that coming beforehand. Good. Well, in terms of giving AP, I think the ranged damage dealer needs the AP the most because we do have those snipers up there and they become very, very uncomfortable. And let's shred some armor. Good. A cold gambit. <clears throat> Fortunately, just the stress. Uh, hmm. I think this here would be not in range. Let's hope I'm right. Let your mind go black. Listen only to me. Good. We mesmerized one of uh, these creatures. I think we can't do really a lot against the snipers for now. Isn't that a lovely sight? Armor is now f fully shred.
could move over here and then start tearing down that enemy up there hmm We would be in full cover against them, I think, but they could sort of move to here. Let's try that because we have no other counterplay. Oh, yet again, lost some health. Wonderful. Good. One. Two, three, four. Light him up. Unfortunately, the guy that I really wanted to hit was an Osho. Good. Pushing this guy in. Kill into AP, into cooldown reduction, into a lot of things. And I think our only real option here is to get onto that deck and sort of get to these guys. But that's a long run. This here is uh, stress territory. Good. Blinded and marking. Not the worst. There is Nicastro. No. Yes, it's her. Okay. If I gotta go out, I'm gonna go out swinging. You think yourself immortal? Okay. Well, Eddie certainly begins to heal himself. Go. Reduces stress in the process. Yeah, we can't just stay there and trade bullet for bullet. That's not going to work. Move up. Tread this guy. Bleeds, cooldowns are reduced. Next turn we get more AP again. We'll keep that for uh, for Nicastro once she comes down. This is a good position for Eddie. Can do a lot of things next turn from there. Um, no cold gambit this time. Hmm. Problem now is melee once again. I don't like that. So let's place a curse on this guy up there. Up. 
and we're just going to evade for now baiting the hit this will generate a bit of stress but we're going to get rid of this guy that's what you get Could move up. Problem is, Nicastro is uh, still there, and I don't want to one-on-one -on -one her. We're moving up here, and we're Come just on. evading. Let the sea embrace. Why delay? Glorious end. You will regret this. Be careful. Okay. Not great. Our position is pretty poor. And we can't really see anyone. That, however, should still hit. Right? No. Wrong. Apparently it does not. Full cover here. And just remove some stress. I live. More overwatch. We're good, we still have plenty of hit points left over. There's no time to waste. Good, she will trigger an attack of opportunity, but she has evasion. No. Okay. Worked like a charm. Come on. Come. Fight back. Each cut is a gift. You see. What an unpleasant party. I want to leave. Ha! <laughs> She has fled, but she will not forget. Hmm. Okay. Well, she just moved away, apparently. Let's reduce cooldowns. Good. I needed that badly, because this here is cleansing all of the poison. Such a strong ability. All right. Grant the teammate uh, speed. All right, family business interruption. Uh, let's uh, continue. So, where did we? Where have we left off? Oh yeah. Still need to deal with these guys. So let's light them up, shall we? One, two, definitely on a three. Now. Whoa, endless ammo, quick load, Eddie. It almost seems like you have solved your ammunition problem. How's that going? The wave curse, we can put it on this guy. 
just to take more damage. Nah, I don't... Now we're going to uh, shoot the guy upstairs, because that's the one that no one else can reach. Oh, Eddie definitely has uh, solved his ammo problems. He's getting a lot of ammunition back. Only one of us walking away from this. And it Look at that. He he gets more ammo back than than he uses. That's not bad. that it came to this letters can be lowered from above yeah just not uh, for us right stick and move there is the hit free movement to here knocking this guy right into the plank 97 damage, holy. Okay, well. It appears we're good. There is still this uh, little field and someone is poisoning from above. Don't like it. Um, yeah, we do have Bless too, so... Oh, yeah, there is indeed an enemy. Uh, Eddie finds himself in a troublesome spot. Hit this, hit that. And afterwards, Eddie continues to move back. Keep up the fight. Good. Inspired with a cleansing uh, portion, which is good. Uh, and you know what? We're reloading because we don't have any ammunition. Ingrid moves up, Come on. evades. And we're moving up with uh, Celestine evade as well. You can already see that this is going to be a bit of a slug. This whole setup for a melee focus group isn't the best. I mean, stating the obvious here, right? But still. Eddie is the own, uh, only range damage dealer, not optimal. Good, we're rushing up. Let me correct that. Eddie is not the only range damage dealer. We do have Anna Sophie. But finding a good spot for her to actually deploy her damage isn't that easy as well. Half cover, not great, but I suppose we need to move in. Of course, now he's jumping down. Are you kidding me? Light him up. Good, he's moving out of cover. F 
followed by a nice little dual hit. Here. Should have done that just a little bit before. The whole fight was just a clown fiesta. You see how easily they fall when you trust in your training. That was a clown fiesta, but we fought against a scion and around a dozen here, others, so all things considered, it wasn't that bad. Of course, I would have preferred a bit cleaner approach. Get a frag grenade. Need a second. Eddie healed himself. What's this? Smoke bomb? No. But wait, what's this? Lore. I feel bad. I potentially should give uh, should give the lore a little bit more chance to convince me. Oftentimes, just fast forwarding it. But I like the animated uh, discussions. That part is really good. Stay put. Lights out. Another frag grenade. A moment. We have a lot of frag grenades. And unfortunately, the guy with the most ranged utilities yeah, does have this. all of the frag grenades. It's not really how it should be. There's second wind, that's what I was looking for. This battle is ours to win. Alright, everybody win. removed stress and regained a couple of their signature abilities. We regain second wind, and with that, the charges uh, of our non combat abilities as well. Our statues are giving me the creeps. Okay, we'll, we'll come to that in a second. Let's just chill on it for a moment. The boat is still to be discovered. The boat is still to be discovered. And I don't want to start a fight here. That's a med kit. I think we're going to drop that. Pretty, but it sure as hell works. My sister and brother showed me how to do this. This should buy you some time. Remain here. Ah, uh, no. I don't want to be singled out. Follow We're me. going to kill someone else with a sucker punch for now we got ourselves an iron key that I hold on to this I can't seem to catch my breath this always works except when it don't Why 
right up. Okay, let's see if we can get these other uh, the others. A coin for your passage. There you go. Hmm. I wonder what's in here. At some point we need to clear it all. So they certainly did not disappoint uh, with the statement that things are uh, that things are well protected. Now we're taking the wave on him. There you go. Nice little debuff. Eddie makes sure that that stress aura is gone. Okay, and we are moving in. This guy should be down in no time. There we go. Easy. Are you ready? This has become quite the party. Dave found me. What? Where did you come from, dude? Of your nice little push kick. I like that. Eddie just hammers home the message. And no one has stress, so we're okay. Don't need to let anyone this in particular kill this guy. So what do we have here? Thunder bomb. That's actually not bad. Thunder bomb is a good uh, crowd control. So I have to wonder. Let Eddie take that. Another frag grenade. Lacking in subtlety. <laughs> I will make do. Oh, someone in the background has a really bad time today. There is yet another obelisk. Holy. This stage is massive. Hurry now. Good. That was opened with a key. Stress remedy. Mode of fate definitely is good. Are we taking another second hand? Um, yeah, we so far. I think we don't need it. We do have the second. We can use the second wind ability a little bit later. This ought to come in handy. Another ether. So overall, crazy loot 
in this entire environment. Let's check out the boat before we go clockwise. We have not found the nectar extraction tools nor have we found anything else yet. But it seems Got that the these tools. are the extraction tools. Extract the bussel nectar. Okay. All right. For starters, we're unlocking that, which would have made the whole process so much smoother. Okay, so that entire boat is essentially a no-show because we can't get in. Well, now that we do have the tools, might as well obtain the musk, which is here, and then go to here, which apparently is where we extract the nectar. I wonder if any of these inspections ever yield anything but a little bit of information, fluff text. So that's one. Ingrid goes here. Simply Eddie kills the sentry off. because that's super annoying. Alright, it's one more down. Just needed a bit of focus. And I think we didn't even need to fight. Cool. It is safe with me. You are out of your death. Zorana Nicastro. Okay, so much for not needing to fight. We can make it out of this. Cleanse everyone. Okay. We're going to do a bit of occult gambling. The gambit didn't pay off. Okay, we can hit her. That's good. Hit uh, these two with motivate. Forty percent more damage. And Nicastro gets nicely armor shred. I like it. She's down to five armor. We'll get her down to zero armor now. There you go. Completely down. All right, now it's Eddie's turn to light her up. The 
that and that. Nah. Skip. Good, look. She got nicely hit. Eddie now can fight against the marked target. Higher chance of crit. Fight back. Fight harder. Exquisite. There we go. That's that's indeed an exquisite hit. Good, and that's the kill. <laughs> you couldn't keep up. Yeah, that was good. This 40% more damage is insane. If you have peace to make, make it now. Of course, enemies are coming in, but that's fine for me. We're moving up. Oh, more enemies, more potential enemies. Quicker than sure, shadow. we're giving we're giving her speed. That's a good idea. And double move into an eddy double move. <sighs> Yet again, I need to get rid of the card. It's too tempting. It's not serving me very well. Good. Big fat overwatch. Eddie does overwatch. And Ingrid basically just stays there, evade. And ready to go. Now everyone knows we are here. Oh, that poor fellow. Does trigger Overwatch. Hmm. Too bad. Uh, we missed him, which means we can go again just to shred the armor. Bleeding, bleeding armor shred. Unfortunately, we have no more cooldowns left. The training pays off. Good. Remove the rest of the armor. Nice little five armor shred for the win. And Eddie. Begins to daze it, but also I must build peace on a foundation of blood and bone. Can get that Spirit. nice little finisher. Finishers Wait seem up. to be zero AP by the way, so and you get an AP back when you finish them. That's good to know. That makes them a little bit better even. Honey. I'm home. A 
moment. I know you're out there. Give my regards to the ferryman. All right. Close, but that worked out very well. That was the third guy of the, the triple pack. Now found. And having one of each unlocks so many extra resources. Unbelievable. Oh. There is another second wind. I think we've been here before. Okay, so that's a deep spawn. Can't really kill the, um, beat them, but we could definitely kill them. I go alone. Another frag grenade. Well, look. Does frag grenade hit, hit both of them? Yes, it does. Then, in my opinion, that's a perfect start. 110 damage. Nothing wrong with that. We're not saturing anyone. How is there no target in range? Okay, we're going to find out what that means in a second. Let me help. Not 100% clear where these guys have gone. Your name's on my dance card. It's working. The Deep Slayers think we're like them. Huh? Where are they guys? Huh? Where are they? So that's a hit, but I can't shoot them. First sign of movement. I don't understand that. Good, we're overwatching. just evading I suppose Let's evasion here with. and more grenade damage Kidding me?
This isn't correct, right? Not bad. I'll take it. So you're telling me that these guys that were effectively invisible and they are effectively untargetable except with frag grenades. A souvenir. What a waste of our time. This way. Okay, let's all forget that that happened. Just refilling our frag grenades real quick. Okay, well, apparently this here is it. I got a bad feeling about this place. Real bad. We can do it. We have to. Good. They are anyways fully healed, but we're getting them their signature abilities back. At least we used one on Ingrid. Okay, if I had to take a guess, then this here is not going to be as untargetable as the rest. Unfortunately, these guys are immune to electricity, so her traps won't do much, and we can't backstep, uh, backstep them. The one thing that we can do, though, is set them on fire, I suppose. The hours of repetition yield reward. Very good shot. Uh, I can't again target them. No targets in range. What is even going on? So we can't just Here. Not sure what to say Good. Ingrid gets a speed buff. Ingrid, however, cannot even attack anyone, which is ridiculous if you think about it. And this here won't hit anyone. As you can see, no targets. What we can do is throw a grenade. 110 points of damage is not bad. Something is absolutely bugged. Don't stop now. Good, we're motivating, but I don't think that is going to change a lot. More Overwatch.
Moving in. I can hit the little chest, but that is all I can do. Evade ah. self buff. Into evasion self buff. Where is our actual target? In here. So we need to get around and in, in there. And this you should hit both of them, but I know for a fact that it won't. But what am I going to do? Could destroy that other thing. Don't think it's worth it. We're just going to evade. And unfortunately I can't really do anything other than throw a uh, throw a bomb. Okay, so everybody got their actions back apparently. moving up cannot leave combat uh, maybe because of that thing this is very disappointing to say the least I don't know what kind of bug caused this game behavior But the enemies are essentially doing nothing, and I wasted a lot of consumables on them, because they weren't hittable otherwise. Jesus. That's what nectar comes from. It's the blood of that thing. This changes nothing. We need that nectar. Good. Or not good. It's done. Let's go. The price of your sacrilege is death. There's Lady Nicastro. Well, well, well. All of a sudden, we got a couple of enemies, so just got a little bit more interesting. Nicastro definitely needs to die, so 40% more damage onto her. Cool. Then, secondly, we're putting a gambit out. Of course, we're losing. This time, hit her. I am no stranger to pain. We did not. We can make it out of this. We did not get our cooldown, uh, our inspire cooldown back. Not yet. Could use the thunder bomb in order to disable both of them which is potentially the right call here. 
Double knockdown. Good. All right, Ingrid is super far away. Uh, hmm. She's immune to mesmerize, but she would be dazed, I think. Let's try that. Okay, she stays, so she lost one action. Can't reach her. Uh, we're not going to deal a lot of damage this time. But we need to focus on her. Good. Fight back. Fight harder. You should not try to fight me. But I prefer that you do. Just hold her off until we're clear. Okay, more enemies. Okay. Way more enemies. Lady Nicastro. All right, one, and Eddie needs to get another one. Cool. That's the motivation. Are we still bleeding? I think so. Anyone else with a knockdown bomb? Yeah, we knocked these guys down one more time. Another gamble. Oh, come on. Always the stress, never the reward. Get into cover here, which wouldn't be too bad. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, we need to shred Nicastro. She's dazed, which is good. I like that. Now, light him up. One, two, three, Gear. four. Where's Nicastro? Oh, she moved in. Okay. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? Start to healing. And drop both of these guys with a knockdown. Cool.
This guy is going to be dropped. Nice little knockdown. And armor is shred. Which means that Eddie has a 100% chance of hitting him. Continues to hit him and hit him very well. One less to worry about. Continuing to shred his armor. More enemies, okay. All right, range DPS really does have a problem now. I know there was another guy over here. You picked the wrong fight. Why did we get an attack of opportunity? Oh, from uh, from that thing itself. Okay, I see. Blinded. And we're trying to reduce our stress levels a bit. Pain will be over soon. Good, we're moving back. Can deal with this guy in a second. And we're moving to here. Yeah, when he's on the ground, we will deal with him. Darkness stinks. Alright, Eddie is in the rare situation that he actually needs to reload after that very, very long combat. I see everything. Who will be there? Okay. Tough. Let me help. I should have healed her first because then we could have uh, mm. I know what I'm doing. And we could have uh, gotten rid of the stabilized debuff. Uh, this will give us more AP. Good, Caregiver gave us back 2 AP, which in return allows us to reduce cooldowns. 
which then in return allows us to give more AP to others. Keep on like this, and the noble houses will be ruins in no time. Very good. We're back. Just a quick snack to get this guy down. Mesmerizing him, because why not? That's potentially the best thing we can do. Even healing ourselves. Moves to here. Reloading. And we're reloading. Nice, we dazed her. That means she lost one action. It will not knock her down, but maybe double days is going to work. Exquisite. Oh, finally she's done. She hasn't escaped justice. Only delayed it. Moving up. And moving up. That was overall a harder fight. But our team More is really, coming. really damn strong. So these uh, few setbacks, not really a problem for us. I don't want to take more attacks of opportunity. Thunder bomb solves the case. And let's start shredding. Armor is still there, unfortunately. Your weakness is obvious. Good, we're starting to shred. You break easily. There you go. Armor is gone. I don't want to gamble again. Nicely blinded it. Um, good, we got Killer Instinct and now let's get this guy down. Y'all see that? Another great shot. Really good team overall. I think we did, um, all things considered, we did uh, remarkably well in those hev heavier, more difficult fights. The Bayer descends. Fantastic. Got a lot of cleansing, but I think that doesn't reduce stress, right? No, it does not. However, we can start moving over here. I'm not sure if this is one of those situations where you just need to run. 
We got company. Even Perfect triple hit. And we're even healing ourselves. The only thing that uh, we need is the rest reduction. Right between the third and fourth thoracic. You see? Your aim is true. More AP for everyone. We're moving to a position where it's hitting all of these guys. Lots and lots of ammo. And I think what we're going to do is we're just... Finishing them. That was close enough. Knock him down. And I think knockdown uh, plus uh, days means he can't even get up. couldn't get up how poetic as an ending shame someone left this line around good we're just going to take a couple of consumables back and I think the reason why we're still in combat is that whole bucked deep sp uh, deep spawn setup so let's get the hell out of here what a long mission We got downed once. I'm still not sure how we immediately got into a stress break and a downer. The devouring king may one day wake, but it is not today. One down, two to go. Steal a sample of Nicastra's Abyssal Nectar. We got that, but we still didn't kill her, so apparently she remains unkillable. Which I guess for the um, for the overall threat of the game is a good idea. But I don't know. I would really like to get rid of them. Maybe it happen happens a bit later. Seric Steel unlocks a powerful weapon in the tree of an agent. Well, thank you for that. 12 skill points gained. I like that. And we got three cards. So we got the Hermit. 
Healing ability heals the target teammate for 80 hit points. One use per mission. Um, if it would be more than that, it would be great because it reduces the cooldowns. The shield maiden. Buff ability. Target teammate takes a 30. Oh, that's great. Would like to get it onto her. And another inspiration. Listen, we wanted to get rid of uh, that plus one speed, right? So it's either the Hermit or the Shield Maiden. Or he gets an ins inspiration. The Shield Maiden looks good, but it's only a great buff when you can... Re reliably cast it on someone um yeah none of those are like fantastic if we upgrade that what does it do it suffers 10 damage so it's just reducing the damage really speed is nice but is it worth it? Or should we not just give him the healing ability for now and then we're switching it out for something more reliable afterwards? Listen, this is one mad pack. You gotta measure a man by the folks around him. Unfortunately not the best cards, but what can you do, right? Abyssal nectar sample obtained. We have House Nicastro's nectar. The blood of their dead god is in our hands. Nice. A fruitful trip, I see. So let's do the buffs and these uh, oh, and the upgrades, and then we're oh. done with today's mission. It was a long one, longer than expected. We got one cervix uh, steel. Unfortunately, apparently, Nicastro, yeah, um, was so good that uh, she continued to do a lot of other missions. In fact, Lady Nicastro's um, faction inflicts stress when they land a critical hit. I don't like her taking... even more land because that means we're fighting more against her relations are in order we now have a sample of nectar the sacramental wine from which Zorana Nicastro derives her power just hope it's enough to stop a zealot with a god on her side that was no god a devil maybe perhaps the thing you saw was a primordial god as the Nicastros believe or perhaps the devouring king is something even stranger Either way, it's dead. We need only ensure it stays that way. Added to the atrophic device, this foul liquid will serve as a nail in the banished court's coffin. A tool to separate Zorana Nicastro from her slumbering god. And in the tower, we will do exactly that. Okay, so we can kill her later, apparently. Um, and before we heal the wound instead, Let's do the f uh, the thing that I was looking for a long time. The Queen's Hands are upgraded. Increases damage, significantly increases crit chance. Okay. So what does that mean for Ingrid now? 60 base damage, but there might be a bit more. There might be a little bit more. Okay. So we got one super weapon. She's like fully unlocked. I like it. And I need to make a decision which of my allies we're going to work with. 
So, amulet. That's a heal amulet. I must trust the mother guides me in this. And a self healing accessory. Upon attacking an agent, you basically gain hit points back. That's not bad. Something that you would use. So, that self healing. I'm wondering. Uh, can activate twice per round. Okay, and all she needs to do is heal. If I remember correctly, she had a passive ability with a basic attack, she would heal. So that essentially makes two of her basic attacks for free every single round. That's really strong. And her ultimate also heals. Ooh. That's a very strong interaction. So I'm still torn between Eddie and her. I think I'll start with Eddie to get him a better hand draw. Are you in need? But with that, uh, with that new uh, healing talisman, that's essentially oh, two AP no. every single round for Celestine. That might make her a very strong character. What'll it be? Good, we're reducing their actions. And we need to fight against the Castro. Like that that's not even an option. Look at how much she's progressing so we're going to fight her next time but that all of that will happen in the next time it is time to end uh, today's episode thanks a lot for watching guys i appreciate your viewership if you want to see more lamplighters league and like the playthrough then now is the right time to hit the like button and let me know what you think uh, whom should i pick should i go for eddie or celestine I am indifferent at the moment. So let's uh, see how that one plays out and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.